Hi everyone, this is Lisa from East Bank Learning Center reading you a Mother's Day book. The title is Mother's Day Surprise, written by Stephen Krinsky and illustrated by Kathy Ember. Mother's Day Surprise. Violet was a young snake. She liked sliding and slithering and shedding her skin whenever it got old. In her free time, Violet often played with the other animals. She raced the rabbits. She hung next to the bats and she fooled around with chipmunks. But as spring was sprung, Violet noticed a change in the air. The other animals were suddenly very busy, too busy to play. Violet wondered why everyone was in such a hurry. What's the rush? She asked the fox trotting by. Things to do, he said. Violet could see that. What things? She asked, but the fox was already gone. Violet looked around for anyone with a moment to spare. What's going on? She asked a skunk digging in the dirt. We're getting ready for Mother's Day, he explained. Already, said Violet. The skunk laughed. Well, you can't start too soon. It takes time to make the perfect gift. Violet had to admit that was true. But what kind of gift would be perfect for her mother? Violet watched a squirrel sorting through a pile of acorns. He was very picky about it. Why are you being so fussy, Violet asked. They're for my mother, said the squirrel. She likes them crunchy. So he has three piles. Extra crunchy, crunchy, not so crunchy. Next, Violet saw a bear crushing some honeycombs. That looks like sticky work, said Violet. The bear agreed, but I have to do it right. My mother likes things just so. Then Violet saw a beaver chomping on a fallen tree trunk. What are you doing? Violet asked. Shh, said the beaver. Don't disturb an artist at work. Sorry, said Violet. I can't afford to make any mistakes, the beaver went on. When I'm done, my mother will love this. Violet was glad everyone was working so hard, but that wasn't helping her. What could she do for her own mother? Without arms or legs or teeth, she couldn't make anything like the other animals. Never before had Violet felt it was hard being a snake, but she felt that way now. As Mother's Day approached, Violet got sadder and sadder. The other animals were finishing up their gifts. Violet still hadn't started hers. It wasn't fair. It wasn't fair at all. Then Violet got an idea. So he sees the raccoon making something. She practiced and practiced her present in secret. It was tricky business, but slowly she made progress. On the morning of Mother's Day, all the animals were ready with their presents. Violet was ready too. Happy Mother's Day, shouted Violet. Oh my, said her mother, what a nice surprise. It's perfect, Violet, absolutely perfect. Violet was very happy. Even without arms or legs or teeth, she had shown her mother just how she felt. And her mother felt the same way too. Happy Mother's Day.